And just like that, I'm in Spain again. There was no passport check or anything in Andorra. They just kind of waved me through, so very easy. So Andorra is behind me. It only took me, well, it really only took one day to cycle across the whole country, but only a couple hours, really. You could probably cycle across Andorra in three hours or less. Two if you're fast. Check out those mountains off to my right. Super high. This is a great road so far. The traffic has really decreased. I think most of the cars went right back there, headed towards Barcelona. I found this little picnic area right off the side of the road. I didn't really need to stop, but it just looked inviting, so I came over to sit for a bit. I'm gonna try out these uh, bars that I bought, see if they're any good, I don't know. It's weird, in, in Europe here, like, or in this part of Europe at least, I can't find like protein bars. Like back in the States, I would be buying Cliff Bars or something like that all the time. Here you can't find anything like that, at least not at the supermarket. Um, the closest you find are like cereal bars, granola bars. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. I've already gone about 50 kilometers so far. Um, I really only have to go 60 kilometers today in order to be on schedule, so um, not too much further to go, really. That's kind of the direction that I'm going, and up there in the sky are a bunch of rain clouds. I checked the weather this morning, and they said it could start raining around 3 p.m. It's 1.30 p.m. right now, so it's very possible that I will just go like 10, 15 more kilometers and then find a place to camp. I just discovered the way that I want to go is through a giant tunnel over here. It's a giant tunnel going through the mountain and I can't go through there on my bicycle. Now there's a way around, which is the, this road behind me, but it's a way around. Uh, and then I think it goes up in the mountains. The, the road on the map looks like this, like, oh gosh. So. <sighs> I guess I'm going this way now. Uh, and it's starting to rain. This is the way I'm actually going to go through that kind of valley and probably up the hills a little bit. But over here is a over here is a Spanish enclave. I forget the name of it. Um, I'll look it up in a moment, but uh, it's Spain inside of France. It's like an island inside of France. Right over here, maybe 20 kilometers this direction. So I think as long as the weather holds out, I'm gonna go to that Spanish enclave. Um, to get there, I have to cross back into France, then into the Spanish enclave, then come back into France again, and then back into Spain and over this direction. So, I'm gonna to try to do all that in the next couple hours before it rains, hopefully. I'm leaving Spain now and crossing back into France. All right, I just crossed the bridge. I'm back in France now, headed towards Yvia. Here it is, I'm approaching Yvia. Oh man, this is cool. There's the sign, Yvia. So here I am in Yvia. Like I said before, uh, Yvia is a, an enclave of Spain that is situated inside of France. So in order to get here, I had to cross from Spain through France. Now I'm back in Spain, this is part of Spain and then I'm gonna go back to France and then back into Spain. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to come and check it out. I'm gonna ride into town a little bit, look around a little bit, and then I'll head out.
So I've just bought some water and some orange juice. I'm gonna put the orange juice in my water bottle here and then I'm gonna carry this on the back of my bike, just back here. Um, that way I have some water to drink tonight in my tent. I'm carrying this orange juice box around. I'm trying to find a trash can to put it in. All right, I'm leaving Yvia the same way I came in. So I'm in France right now. I'm about to cross back into Spain. I'm back in Spain now. Do you see that big mountain up ahead? I have to go over that mountain right now. The good thing about going on this road though is that most of the cars are using the tunnel. I can't go in the tunnel so I gotta go up and over the mountain on this side road. Um, I'm at 86 kilometers for the day. I'm just gonna start looking for a place to camp. If I see something, I'm camping. Check this out. I'm just biking along here. Somebody has their own private castle situated in this little valley. Look at that place. That is really cool. So like that over there is Yivia. That's where I came from. And then I'm going up this road here, up in this direction. actually like a really amazing road um, it's not too steep although it started off steep and there have only been like 12 cars that have passed me in the last hour so yeah it's really pleasant and the scenery around me is spectacular the video doesn't even capture it really there is nowhere flat however to camp uh, it's just Pure cliffs on my left, and pure cliffs going down on my right. That's it. So I think I'm gonna have to climb all the way to the top of this hill tonight. Maybe camp at the top, where it's flat, hopefully. Um, and then go down tomorrow, we'll see. So, this is camp for tonight. I went 100 kilometers today. Um, the road is like right down there behind me. There's a flat spot here. Um, when, whenever I stealth camp, I try to get above the road if I can. That way, I am looking down at people that would possibly come, cars and stuff like that, uh, hikers, whatever, so that I can see them, but they can't see me. If you hike, if you camp below them, below the road, there's, it's more likely that people are gonna spot you. So that's why I push my bike up to this little flat area, um, just to get away from the road and uh, to get myself some elevation.
Now that I've left Andorra, I thought I would just take a few moments to share my thoughts on the country. Um, before coming here, I really knew nothing about Andorra other than it was a tiny little nation sandwiched between France and Spain. Um, I now know that Andorra is the sixth smallest country in Europe. Um, it has the highest capital city of any uh, country in Europe and uh, the average elevation is like 6,500 feet. The highest elevation in Andorra is just below 10,000 feet. I think at like 9,555 or something like that. Um, my impressions of the country were, it was really nice and I would love to go back uh, sometime in the future actually. I really like the nature area and I would have loved to have spent more time climbing, hiking, skiing in the mountains. If you like to ski, I think Andorra is the place you want to come in the winter time. Andorra is essentially, from like a very surface level analysis, it's a giant ski resort. It is just a tiny country all about skiing and shopping. That's, uh, that's how it appeared to me. Um, there were a lot of McDonald's, there were a lot of police I noticed, and I also noticed there were a lot of these uh, trials motorcycles. Uh, these are like a special type of motorcycle for, I don't know, hopping over logs and things like that. Um, I noticed quite a few of those. Other than that, yeah, lots of shopping, lots of skiing, lots of hotels, cheap hotels. Like both, I stayed in two hotels in Andorra. Each one cost me 25 euros per night for one person. Um, so yeah, it was cheap uh, and beautiful. Uh, I came in from the north side of the country, from France and all of the climbing that I did to get up to Andorra was on the French side. So as soon as I crossed into Andorra, I really only had six kilometers of uphill cycling to do, and then everything down to the Spanish border was downhill. Uh, so that was great, actually. But if you're coming from Spain, uh, from the south, and going into Andorra towards France, just keep that in mind that it's going to be all uphill. And when I mean all uphill, I mean there is not like 10 meters that's downhill at all in Andorra. It, like it's uphill all the way to those last six kilometers. Then it'll be downhill six kilometers and then down all the way into France. So yeah, um, I really enjoyed it. I would totally come back. And now I'm in Spain. Again, uh, those of you who have been following along know that I was in Spain just less than two weeks ago or so, um, biking with my friend Kevin, and so now I'm back and I'm headed to Girona, Spain, which is on the east, kind of north of Barcelona. Um, I'm going to be participating in a week-long self-guided bike tour with a company called Touring Catalonia. Um, it kind of starts in this volcan volcanic volcano region of Spain and then goes down to the coast, the Costa Brava in Spain. So it should be really nice and I'm doing it with my, doing the bike tour uh, with my friend Ryan from Pause the Moment. He and I have never actually met but we've known each other for years because of our web various websites and uh, we've Skyped a bunch and stuff but we've never actually met. So it'll be cool to meet him and do a bike trip uh, together and there's some other people on the tour also. So um, yeah, it should be great. So. I'm going that way actually, uh, I should go now. All right, ciao. <laughs>